Thank you, everyone, for being here. I'm Santa Clarita Mayor Bill Miranda, and I am thrilled to be here at the reopening, if you will, or what I like to call the grand opening of The Cube. First, I, I'd like to recognize some people who are here. Uh, from our city council, Mayor Pro Tem, Lorene West. <laughs> Councilwoman, Marsha McLean. <laughs> Council member, Cameron Smythe. <laughs> and I might remind everyone that the Cube is on Smythe Drive, <laughs> which of course was not named after Cameron, but after his dad, but that's another story. <laughs> Council member, Jason Gibbs. We have Congressman Mike Garcia. From Senator Scott Wilk's office, Chris Huff. From Assemblywoman Suzette Valadares Martinez Javier Reyes. And from Supervisor Catherine Barger, Stephanie English. Today, we're also joined by our great city manager, Ken Striplin. And our assistant city manager, Frank Oviedo. We're also joined by our sheriff's captain and one of the premier leaders in our community who is always open and willing to work with our community to keep us safe and to be involved, Captain Justin Diaz. <laughs> we have with us a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous honor. And I am going to take a little bit of liberty here, but bear with me. We have the LA Kings president and Hockey Hall of Famer, Luke Robitaille. <laughs> I, I, I just mentioned to him that I started doing that when he was a rookie. <laughs> All right, from the LA Kings, we have radio play-by-play -play broadcaster and Santa Clarita resident, Nick Nixon. <laughs> LA Kings radio analyst and former Kings forward and a good one, Daryl Evans. <laughs> American Sports Entertainment Company president, Brad Berman. The Cube's general manager, Larry Briere. From the California Highway Patrol, Captain Ed Cruzy. and Public Information Officer, Josh Greengard. <laughs> From our Parks, Recreation, and Community Services Commission, Chair Diana Boone. <laughs> Vice Chair Jonathan Waymeyer. <laughs> Commissioner Victor Lindenheim. and Commissioner Henry Rodriguez. From our Arts Commission, Commissioner April Scott Goss. 
from our Planning Commission, Commissioner Rennie Berlin. From the Santa Clarita Valley Economic Development Corporation, Holly Schroeder. I forgot to mention our Planning Commissioner, Lisa Eichmann. From the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce, John Musella. And of course, we have here the biggest and most important dignitaries of all, our skaters who have used this rink for 20 years. Again, thank you here this morning for being here this morning and welcome to the Cube. We would not be here if it wasn't for the passion and commitment and the grassroots movement of all the people here and, and more beyond here that said, we can't let this stand. We can't let this ice station go away. We have to do everything we can to save it and make it and keep it a, a great place for all families to come over here and enjoy. And so this grassroots movement, and there were many of you involved, uh, thousands of you if you can believe that, uh, involved in contacting the city council and saying, please, please, please save this rink. Too many of us use it, thousands upon thousands. You know, this is the second most used venue in all of Santa Clarita. Used more than the community center, used more than any of our parks, used more than any of our libraries. This is the place. Amazing. We did a study, we did some research and found out we got to save this. And we did. But we only did it because it was a grassroots movement and it was the right thing to do to respond to our citizens. So, so for that, I thank all of you who were involved in making this happen. A special applause to all of you. So since that time, the building has undergo undergone a number of renovations. Most notably, a complete branding overhaul that starts right here before you even step inside. Okay, so it's not just the paint, it's not just the sign, it's not just a new name, it's not just this wonderful high definition screen. And for those of you who are technical, this screen has better definition than the scoreboard at Dodger Stadium. <laughs> In a few moments after we cut the ribbon, I invite you to join us inside and see all the work that has been done since December. In addition to a new color scheme and coat of paint, city crews comprised of staff from multiple divisions have completed repairs on the roof and cooling system. The ice sheets have been restored, plumbing fixtures have been upgraded, Safety systems have been updated and new technology is in place to enhance the visitor experience throughout. The Cube will host hockey clubs, figure skaters, and public skate sessions. It also offers an opportunity for special events, corporate gatherings, and much, much more. When the city acquired this building, a top priority was to have a place where the needs of all users would be met. When the time came to select an operating partner for the Cube, the choice was clear. The LA Kings and American Sports Entertainment Company have a long track record of success in managing local rinks, and I thank them for their commitment to serving communities throughout the region. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome LA Kings president and Hockey Hall of Famer, Luke Robitaille, to say a few words. It is our new world, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to take this off now, I guess, huh? Um, well, we got a jersey for you guys first. There you go. Hey, hey. Thank you. 
better put my mask when I get near you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the first thing I want to say is um, on behalf of all of us, um, Mr. Mayor and the Consul, thank you so much for saving this, this building. We're very, very grateful. Um, skating, you know, from... Uh, all the kids that want to figure skates or using a rink for public sessions or just come in and getting your family together because there's a lot of commitment when you want to be a skater and we all know when you want to be a hockey player your entire family you know gets involved with you so for you guys to step up and save this rink and make sure it stays open for the entire San Fernando Valley and obviously your city here. I think uh, a kudo to you guys and thank you very, very much for doing this and stepping up. We really appreciate it. Uh, on behalf of us, uh, the LA Kings, um, you know, we love what we do. We, we love the game of hockey. You know, I'm looking at some of the kids that are here. You guys know or are aware that, uh, you know, you're, if you're 11, 12, 13 years old, you're just about five, six, seven years old, younger than some of our players on our team. So you're right there, you guys. <laughs> A lot of guys on our team right now. Um, you know, this is for you guys. This is for you, you, you boys and girls, for you guys to have a chance to, to skate and all the people stepped up and made sure they, they saved this. And, you know, the game of hockey is, um, like I talk about, it's always about family, but you can't have success playing hockey by being an individual. It is always about how you treat your teammate, how you are with your friends. And, you know, the, the most successful players in hockey are the guys we call a give and go. You give the puck and you get the puck back. So that means you have to be, you have to play as a team. And you learn these great values along the ways. And that's why we preach the game of hockey for us. And we understand the values it brings to it. And your family comes and cheers for us. And then same thing when you're committing yourself to being a figure skater, like at uh, – some of our other rinks in, in Southern California and even here, there's been a lot of Olympians that come out of, you know, just training every day to become a great figure skater and to try to improve your skill every day. And it's amazing when you start watching on TV, you watch the Olympics or you're watching an NCAA, what's going on. So many kids are coming out of Southern California and having a chance to go to college and get, get a free ride, by the way, parents, <laughs> a lot of time. But, uh, you know, so just want to say again, can't tell you guys how much it means to us, and we're going to work hard. We want to make it a great environment. It's great to have Larry Briere here as a manager. We go back a long, long ways, Larry, eh? early 90s. <laughs> so it's been fun. Uh, for us, we've been partner with Brad Berman and his wife, Terry, and his company for years, and the reason is because they know how to treat people the right way. And it's very important for us to do things right. We're not perfect every day, but uh, that, that's, what, that's what matters at the end of the day, that everybody that comes in this facility has a great experience. Now, as far as the Kings are concerned, don't worry. We're trying to build this team to win many more Stanley Cups. That's our goal, okay? For you guys that are... Or just like in the, in the early teens, you know, maybe you were very young, but in 2012 and 14, and we won two Stanley Cups. And uh, but we know it takes time. You got to do it right. You got to have players that play with a lot of heart and so forth. And that's the way we're trying to build our team. And I hope to see you at Kings game, and we will see you here. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day, and congratulations again. Thank you. Let's take a picture. an unparalleled partnership and name recognition for the Cube, not only locally and regionally, but beyond our region. So we're blessed to have the Kings and ASIC as, as partners. I would now like to direct your attention to that wonderful LED screen I was talking about, uh, where we have video messages from several other members of the Los Angeles Kings organization. Hi everyone, it's Alex Faust and Jim Fox, broadcast crew for the LA Kings. Just want to send our congratulations to everyone in Santa Clarita on the grand opening of the Cube. Such a long history of youth hockey in Santa Clarita. The Kings have been involved uh, for many, many, many years. We're happy to continue to be involved so that everyone can get the benefits, the fitness on the ice and the life lessons off the ice. Go Kings, go! 
Go Cube, go. It's a huge benefit to have youth hockey, recreational hockey, back and available to everybody in Santa Clarita. And we wish everybody well on the grand opening of the Cube. Growing up in California, it meant a lot to have good places to play. So I'm happy to see the opening of the Cube and a new home for the next generation of future Kings. Super important for the young people and all the future hockey players out there that want to want to grow the game in California. And Hi, I'm Patrick O'Neill, and I'm the TV host for the LA Kings. I want to say congratulations on the grand opening of the Cube. Who knows, maybe I can learn to skate as well as my partners, Jim Fox, Daryl Evans, Derek Armstrong, and Jared Stoll, or just learn to skate, period. I'll see you at the queue. Hey there, this is former Kings Derek Army Armstrong. My role in the LA Kings organization is to help grow hockey all around the world and especially in Southern California. The Cube at Santa Clarita is a great place to play hockey. What an amazing facility. Let's go Kings and get out there and play. Come on. Hi everyone, Nick Nixon here, longtime resident of Santa Clarita since 1984. It's a long time. Congratulations, the ice is back here in our valley. Our two boys played hockey here, and for all the youngsters and even the adults in Santa Clarita, this is a great day. Congratulations to the Kings and the city of Santa Clarita for this partnership. Go Kings and go Cube. As a player and as a hockey dad, it's great to see the growth of hockey in California. And we're all excited about the opening of the Cube. Hi, I'm Daryl Evans. Having first joined the Kings in 1980, I have witnessed firsthand the growth of ice sports here in Southern California and have made it a personal mission of mine to continue and expand upon that growth. Today is a great day. The Q, Santa Clarita, ASEC led by Brad Berman, the Kings, it's a winning team. Hi, I am Francisco X Rivera, the Spanish radio play-by-play -play voice of the Los Angeles Kings. Sé que muchos niños van a ir a The Cube en Santa Clarita, van a saltar a la pista de hielo y divertirse de lo lindo. And with so many future Kings coming to The Cube, we have a lot of goals to look forward to. Hi, Blake Bolden here, growth and inclusion specialist and pro scout with the LA Kings. I just wanted to say congratulations on your grand opening of The Cube. I'm very excited for you guys, and I can't wait to get out there with you soon. Hi, Steve Hines here. After 12 years in the NHL, the final two with the Los Angeles Kings, I decided to make Southern California my home. Thoroughly enjoyed being involved with and seeing the growth of hockey here in Southern California. I wanna say thank you and congratulations to the city of Santa Clarita and the Los Angeles Kings for keeping hockey alive and strong with the Cube in Santa Clarita. Best of luck to everybody, and again, thank you. Hi, this is Jared Stoll. Congratulations to the Cube and the city of Santa Clarita on this historic day. Hockey is in good hands, and I look forward to seeing future NHLers, Stanley Cup champions, right here at Staples Center soon. Take care. I'm Austin Wagner of the LA Kings, and I want to congratulate everybody on the opening of the Cube. It always uh, brought joy to me to have places to go and play with my friends and family. So I'm happy to see the opening of another rink, the Cube, and a new home for the next generation of future Kings. Hi, this is Bob Miller, a former TV play-by-play -play announcer for the Los Angeles Kings for 44 years. I'm so excited that you up and coming hockey players are gonna get a chance to take to the ice at the Cube. Remember, a lot of great NHL players started just that same way. So keep practicing and keep following your NHL dreams. Wow. <laughs> wow, what a commitment. What a commitment from the LA Kings. What a commitment from ASIC. We are so thrilled and really, really blessed to have such a great partnership going with us. And just think about that. that. These are some of the greatest players in hockey. And you guys from West Ranch, I gotta tell you, you guys rock and you're gonna rock and some of you are gonna play professional hockey. And we're gonna be proud of you because you started here at the Cube. So.
I would like to invite, I think I might be out of order here a little bit. I get excited very easily. Hang on. Okay, I'll just follow the order that's here. I would like now to invite Holly Schroeder from the Santa Clarita Valley Economic Development Corporation and John Musella from the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, briefly, I just would like to uh, congratulate uh, the city of Santa Clarita on the uh, grand opening of the Cube and really thank the city council for their vision and leadership in uh, moving this, this project forward. It really was a handful of factors that made this possible and that really makes Santa Clarita Valley a wonderful place because of its commitment from the council towards making this a better place for its residents and for businesses. Uh, first off, as, as Mayor Miranda mentioned, there was a groundswell of interest and support for acquisition of this facility and really making uh, this a, a hallmark uh, enterprise here in the Santa Clarita Valley. And the city really stepped up to make that happen. And they did that because they also had a vision of how this can become also a major, in addition to a community benefit, an economic development asset, because this will help introduce thousands of peoples to the opportunities in the Santa Clarita Valley bringing regional tournaments and events and play here and uh, give all of these wonderful young players the opportunity to compete and uh, enjoy the, uh, the, the experiences of winning and, teams and, and team play. Uh, so we really want to thank that. And I just want to thank the city for its bold leadership of doing this and making this decision in the middle of a pandemic, uh, which really is a testament to the long-term fiscal responsibility of this city, uh, really making sure that we are taking care of business here at home, uh, bringing more business here, and making great opportunities and quality of life for our community. So thank you for all of your wonderful leadership. Uh, with that, I'd like to turn it over to my colleague from the Chamber of Commerce, John Musella. Thanks, Holly, appreciate that. I also wanna introduce Ivan Volskan, Computer Warrior with the Chamber of Commerce, who are here today as well. Thank you for being here. And I wanna thank the city for, again, for their bold leadership and all of you who helped make this possible. As you know, Santa Cruz is one of the greatest communities in all of LA County, if not California in the nation, when it comes to supporting our families and our youth sports. And you know, we at the Chamber of Commerce embrace that and want to help provide uh, great pro places and programs for our youth because it not just helps build great leaders of tomorrow, but it also helps to infuse our local businesses. The tournaments you're bringing, the family that come to town to see you play, they stay at our local hotels, they eat at our local restaurants, they make an economic impact here in Santa Clarita that is so vital and will help all of our local businesses, especially as we begin this economic recovery post pandemic and in see, hopefully see a very near future an economic renaissance for our businesses. So thank you to all of you for doing what you do and being here and being part of this community and making it what it is today. So thank you and thank you to the city for everything you've done. And we have a certificate we'd like to present to the mayor. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Shall we take a picture over here? I'd like to take a moment to re recognize uh, representatives from the CUBE's business sponsors who are in attendance as well as a big thank you to Five Point. Five Point is here. Right over there. I won't jump the gun, but there's great news coming from Five Point. That's all. I'm going to leave it with that. Snow Orthodontics. Thank you. <clears throat> Logix Federal Credit Union. Thank you. <clears throat> Henry Mayo Newhall Hospital. Thank you. We're, we're hoping you don't have to send ambu ambulances out here too often. Okay. It is, not, it, it is my pleasure now to invite other dignitaries to say a few words, and we will start with our congressman from the 25th District, Congressman Mike Garcia.
Thank you, Mayor. Thank you all. I was feeling inspired, and I was actually going to body check Councilman Jason Gibbs, but he's called in his backup and his strong arm here, so we'll save that for another day. Luke, uh, thanks for coming out. Very special occasion. This is what makes our country the greatest country in the world. This is what makes Santa Clarita one of the greatest cities in our nation. And we've lost so much over the last 13, 14 months with the pandemic. We've lost so many liberties and, and uh, things that entertain us and, and in some cases rights. And we didn't necessarily have to have this day to day. It was, it was only because of the hard work from the grassroots, the, 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 the local community organizations, the kids, the parents, and especially our city and the organization that Mayor Miranda has, has, uh, has outlined for us that this, this happened. So I wanna thank everyone for coming together uh, in, in, in one of the darkest years that we have, we have now a, a moment to celebrate today and something to look forward to tomorrow, uh, and this was not preordained. Luke, you're a hell of a hockey player. Uh, I would put money on that there is someone in this crowd here today who will be a better hockey player than you someday. That's my hope and dream. It certainly is not me. If I put skates on, I'd be on the ice more than the puck. So... Uh, but uh, thank you to the kids, the figure skaters, the, 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 the hockey players who have been patient with this, and uh, especially thank you to the city of Santa Clarita for making this happen, and all of our beautiful partners who have uh, made sure that this facility is the, the best in the state, best in the nation, hopefully. And uh, Mr. Mayor, on behalf of uh, the 25th Congressional District, I'd like to present to you as well this certificate. And now from Senator Scott Wilkes' office, Chris Huff. Good morning, awesome town. Woo! I am honored to be here today representing State Senator Scott Wilk. And uh, he is proud to recognize the city, the city council, the community, all you kids out here, all you skaters, all you lovers of ice entertainment. He's proud to recognize you for your commitment to bring this keep ice entertainment and sports here in Santa Clarita and save the cube. So thank you for that. And on behalf of Senator Wilk, I have a certificate for the mayor. From Assemblywoman Suzette Martinez's office, Javier Reyes. My, it's an honor to be here on behalf of your Assemblywoman, Suzette Martinez Valadares, and a beautiful day to celebrate the opening of the Cube. You know, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, once stated, skate to where the puck is going to be. Don't skate where the puck has been. On behalf of Assemblywoman Valadares, thank you, LA City Council, Santa Clarita City Council, pardon me, LA Kings and AESC for looking towards the future, future of hockey and recreation in the Santa Clarita Valley. On behalf of Assemblywoman Valadares, we have the certificate of recognition to present to the mayor. Thank you. From Supervisor Catherine Barger's office, Stephanie English. Good morning. Well, a huge congratulations to the City Council and the City of Santa Clarita, and also to all you young people. Let this day remind you that you have a voice and that you can use that voice and you can achieve the goals that you want to achieve. So think of your next dream, the next thing you wanna see happen in Santa Clarita, and I know you can make it happen. You know, uh, earlier Mayor Miranda uh, congratulated and recognized, uh, and duly so, uh, our Sheriff's Department and CHP. As we all know, we live in a beautiful, safe city, but one of the reasons that our city is so safe is because of the leadership of the uh, City Council and the City of Santa Clarita. and. Facilities like this, especially as someone said during a pandemic to achieve this, is what gives our kids something to do, to build their skills, to achieve their goals, to have a safe environment to live in, to grow up in, and to um, just have, have good fun. So a huge congratulations. And uh, on behalf of Supervisor Catherine Barger, we just are thrilled to be here with you all today. 
actually, you know what I want to do? Since I'm never going to probably see Mr. Robitaille again, and I'm never going to hold that shirt again, I'd like to get a picture with Mr. Robitaille, the mayor, and that shirt. <laughs> Laureen doesn't want to give it to me. <laughs> that's, absolutely. Let's go this way. I'd like to ask the dignitaries to, to gather around the ribbon. All right, let's cut the ribbon on three. One, two, three. Thank you. 